artists, it's Mrs. Comer here, and we are on our final day to work on our wow work, our painting about food. Last week, we started painting our favorite food, and remember, we came up with those ideas in our sketchbooks, so we had to take one idea and start to turn it into one amazing original work of art on our own. So today, hopefully, you had some time to think about what you could do to make that art piece better. We are going to be working on that and finishing it today in art class. So today we will improve, say improve. We will improve our food paintings using paint of our choice and painting techniques as well. And at the end of class, we are going to reflect on our artwork through video artist statements. Okay, I'm going to teach you exactly how to get in our discussion board at the end of art class today. You're going to be filming yourself showing off your finished work of art um, and talking about what you made, why you made that, and how you made it. So quickly, here's our agenda. We're going to review some paint choices, look at some paintings of food, do a turn and talk or a stop and think, how will I improve my art? Improve means to make it Yes, to make it better. You are making your art better than it was last week, adding on to it somehow to make it better. We will do our art project, we will clean up, and we will show what you know. So as we know, one way to create art is through painting, and this is our last day to do painting, so we're going to try our absolute best today. You can be using any of these types of paint and any kind of painting techniques that you learned or discovered along with them. We're going to take one last look at these paintings of food. What I want you to notice about these paintings that we have here is that every single artist has amazing, beautiful details in every single work, whether it's a really close-up work or there's lots of, uh, lots of foods in one painting. Another thing I want you to notice is that they all have backgrounds, even if it's just shadows coming off of the food or dark to light or their food is on a table, or they just painted their background some other random color that they thought really complemented their composition. It's up to you, but I also want you to notice they didn't scribble scrabble, and they all took their time. So those are some characteristics that we could be focusing on today, ways that we can improve our art. So if you're at home, you are going to pause and do a turn and talk with somebody near you or a stop and think, which is where you just look at your painting and think about it. If you are here in class in just a minute, you will pause and you will stand up and we will partner you up with somebody. So what you need is you need your painting from last week. You need to go ahead and take a look at it and ask yourself, hmm, what am I going to do to my painting to improve it? So when you're ready, pause the video. Your turn and talk question of the day is, how will I improve my food painting today? Go ahead and do that now. Good job, guys. Hopefully you thought of some really good ways to improve your painting. Remember, it could be, I need a background. I need more details. I need more colors. Maybe I could add some shadows and make my food look three-dimensional. Maybe um, I could fill my whole paper up or layer colors. It's up to you because you are the artist and it is your choice. So here's today's challenge. You will get your food painting from last week and look at your craftsmanship. Are you taking your time or are you rushing? What are you going to make better? Okay. When you think you're finished, I want you to actually go to somebody, like a table partner if you're here at school or somebody near you at home. Go to somebody when you think you're finished and ask them for feedback on how you can make your art even better. Like ask them to pick out one area that you can improve and then go back and try to fix it and make it even better that time. Now, when you really are finished, you will go to our Canvas discussion board. You will hold up your art that is finished and improved, and you're gonna tell us about what you did to your painting. You're gonna describe the food you chose and how you made it. Let's look at some finished student examples. Ooh, look at these amazing works of art. Students made these, and kind of like we were saying, they filled their space, lots of colors. You have some lights and darks, some color mixing going on. They did not scribble scrabble. They filled their whole paper. They have different layers going on, color mixing. Maybe they outlined some things and, and fixed some areas that they didn't really like last week. These are really excellent examples of our end goal. These are student examples. Now, once you are ready, 
or show what you know. If you need to, you can come back to this video. Um, these are some words that you could be saying in your discussion board when you're done with your painting. You're going to talk about what you painted, what kind of paint you used, why you chose that food, and how you want people to feel when they look at your painting. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to show you how I am going to improve my painting and then I'll also show you how I'm going to post in my discussion board. Are you ready? Let me show you. Right, guys you got to see me finish my artwork I improved it I made it better so now what I would do is I would press next after this video and you are going to see the wow painting discussion board so you've seen this week after week I want you to make sure that you are um, replying and recording in canvas it's just showing up better for everyone and I really want people to see your finished works of art so when you're done you will click reply right here you will click insert you will click media and upload record media all right guys so at this point instead of computer i click record and then i would press start recording and that's where i hold my painting i would talk about what i made why i chose to make that how i made it what i want people to feel anything i just want you to be super proud of what you've done and i want you to show it off and we can actually take turns commenting or liking other people's art and giving out lots of art compliments friends i have been so impressed with us and all of the work that we have been doing uh, i cannot wait to see your amazing food paintings I'm so proud of you guys, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.